And then we're go then we're gonna wrap it up. See, we're almost done. Where am I? Uh, the video itself? We're at 34 minutes, so getting through this. This is good. This is good because it is what it is. All right, so Stan Lee. I say, I say he he works with Marvel. He is at the tender age of what I think he's yes 95. So he right now is facing allegations of uh, inappropriate behavior with uh, his nurses. So a source told the Mail that Lee's alleged gro allegedly groped his nurses and asked for sex for sex in the showers, in part because he's old and has lost his way. He doesn't seem to care what people think of him. He's lost his filter. There has been a stream of young nurses coming to his house in West Hollywood, and he has been sexually harassing them. He finds it funny. He walks around naked, and he is vulgar towards the women. He asks them for oral sex in the shower and wants to be pleasured in the bedroom. He uses the word pussy and fuck in their presence. He also... I'm sorry, he's also very handsy and has groped some of the women. It's unacceptable behavior, especially from an icon like Stan. Now, Stan's people pretty much feel that this is a shakedown and that, you know, um, they're trying to get him for money and and the um, provider is the, uh, I guess it's concerns, some shit like that, nursing care. So, what's my take on it? A couple different things. He's old. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not necessarily trying to defend his action, but he is old. I grew up with a lot of old heads. Right now, we're at that point where a lot of the elders in our family are not truly elders anymore. When I say my grandfather would say some, I've learned once you reach a certain age, your level of fucks are gone. And it even said that he finds it could be, be comedic. Now, is it wrong? Yes. And my question is, are they telling him like, hey, this is wrong, this is inappropriate, can you please stop? And if you feel, and if you as a person feel the way, is it too easy? Like, you want me to do what? You know what? I'm going. Goodbye. Simple, right? So there's that. But my issue is with the nursing company. Why would you continue to send nurses if they have already told you that, hey, this is a... Why would you continue to send young nurses? Why not send an older nurse? Why not send a nurse that happens to be male? Why you, Why do you wait now? I can't help being a conspiracy theorist and think Black Panther comes out next month. Could be a fucking reason to sit here and throw a scandal out there to keep people from going out to watch that movie because there has been a lot of uproar about that movie. A lot. So I don't know how to feel now. If he is in fact doing this, he is an old man. But, like I said, in terms of, you know, not having a filter, he has the right to not have a fucking filter. Now, putting your hand, now touching people and whatnot, that's wrong. Ask somebody to get in the shower with you to have sex is wrong. And like I said, I'm not there with him. He might think it's a joke. May or may not be. But my question is, with this company, if this has been an issue, especially if it's been documented, why are you continuing to send people over there? And then why now? But okay. But y'all let me know how y'all feel. But again, I don't really have a dog in this fight. I truly just feel that this is probably a shakedown. If anything. And for those who are saying, well, you know, the whole Me Too movement, this, that, and third, well, hey, I'm glad y'all said it. I'm glad you said it. So my last story is genuine. He is um on, uh, I think it's Big Brother UK. And on the show, he's there, and there happens to be a transgender woman. And right now, genuine is being labeled as transphobic. And everything else. I will show you the clip, but again, they're not snatching my monetization off of this video. So, long story short, he is there outside. Everybody's covered up because I, I'm. It's it, well, it's cold here now. So, 
<clears throat> I'm pretty sure he already knows that she's a trans woman. And if he didn't know, she reveals that he's a trans woman. But he still sat there. He was still kind of close. Like, she was kind of hurt, like, laying on him right here. And he's just there. I'm like, okay. And then she began to, you know, speak about what it is that she has gone through as a trans woman. No problem. But then she began to come on to Genuine. You know, and Genuine pretty much made it clear, like, no, I would never have anything to do with a trans woman. I like, you know, women that were born women. And should have been left there. The trans woman, her name is uh, um, India uh, Willoughby. She decides to not only hug Genuine, which I don't think he had an issue with that, but try to forcefully kiss him. And rather than, you know, react as many would, he just kind of like laughed it off and kind of, you know, like kind of pushed it away and removed himself somewhat from that situation. And of and now, <clears throat> Gene Wine's being labeled as transphobic and everything else. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I don't think that he is. Here is the thing. Everybody has a fucking preference. Everybody does. And... <clears throat> I can understand if he was sitting there saying some very vulgar shit about, you know, trans people. Then, yes, probably label, labeling him as that would be justified. <clears throat> but he didn't. He even knew that she was trans and he still let her lay on him. And he's just there kicking it, chilling. <clears throat> no issues. So he obviously does not have an issue with her being a trans woman. But what he had an issue with is her trying to forcefully kiss him. Because right here, seriously, the thing, why everybody want to get mad? Hashtag me too. Right the fuck there. Right the fuck there. But rather than people getting upset because that right there is sexual harassment. And the only reason that it's not sexual assault is because actually there was force. So technically that really could be considered sexual assault. <clears throat> But rather get upset about that, you want to send Charlie label him as being transphobic. But my question is, if you, if there's someone where or not you're attracted to that same, you know, persuasion or not, and they try to aggressively lay a kiss on you, and you say no, does that mean that you're being, that you're discriminating against them, or does that mean that you have a preference and also you don't want your personal space being violated and somebody forcefully putting themselves on you because that is exactly what was done there this is a case of motherfuckers being way too damn sensitive and trying to turn you, you know make a mountain out of a molehill and it's not that damn serious but guess what hey genuine hey cuz if you watch this shit hashtag me too pimpin hashtag me too and i'm gonna just leave it at that so before we get into the spotlight it's been a rough week for everybody, myself included. And I'm I'm hoping that it's not, but I think I'm about to go into another week that's about to be rougher than another two weeks. But every now and then, you need something to laugh at. So, I got two clips for you guys. Some for you to watch. Something for you to laugh at. Something to put you in good spirits. Because we all going to need something to laugh at going into this upcoming week. So you guys watch these two. Get your laugh on. And then we're going to go into the spotlights. Es fällt Schnee bis in die Niederungen, örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. Es fällt Schnee bis in die Niederungen, örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. Es fällt Schnee bis in die Niederungen, örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. Es fällt Schnee bis in die Niederungen, örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. Örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. Es fällt Schnee bis in die Niederungen, örtlich besteht Glatteis gewachsen. y'all spotlight time i hope y'all got a good chuckle because y'all know i did so first happy birthday to fellow capricorn mary j blige 
And also, last week I did say it was rumored that she was going to get her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, she actually did. So, happy birthday and congratulations to Mary J. Blige. Also, spotlight on this. Only after two days of the Black Panther movie. Okay, I'm sorry. Only after two days. The Black Panther movie has almost sold out. The advanced copies that were on uh, Fandango literally sold out damn near within the first 24 hours and this is the biggest that has ever happened in marvel comic universe movie history surpassing previously record holder captain america civil war all right <clears throat> also for those y'all who like watching living single it is now on hulu so, if you guys like it, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead now, turn your Hulu on, and watch that living single. Phenomenal fucking series. Loved it. Yo! I knew I should have closed my damn window. I knew I should have. I knew I should but it's hot. I got the lights on me. <sighs> anyway. I want to like literally give like a huge shout out to Kanye West. I don't really fuck with Kanye all that much because you know like I said he he didn't let Chicago down. He ripped Chicago in many moons. But <clears throat> there was a uh, child suffering from cancer. Uh, the family reached out to him. Kanye FaceTime with the child, and not just that, even rap one of the child's favorite songs and. It was said that the child uh, had passed away shortly thereafter. I don't know if it was like shortly thereafter or within a couple of days, but the family was, you know, floored that he even did that. And this is something that isn't um, getting a lot of media, you know, coverage, but, you know, I will have to tip my head to him for doing something that is so selfless that meant the world to this child and to that family. So, congrats to Kanye. Hats off to him. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow is engaged to a guy named Brad Falchuk, whatever, I don't know how the fuck you say his name, but, hey, Gwyneth, congrats to you, sweetheart. Um, Sterling K. Brown, um, I did not, one at the Golden Globes, I did not put the rest of it in there, but it was a, uh, an award that hasn't been, uh, received by a, uh, African-American male, I forgot, I literally thought I put it in my notes, but I didn't, so I do apologize for that. Happy 50th birthday, Capricorn, to uh, Miss Nicole Murphy. <clears throat> Donald Glover, Glover welcomes uh, his second child with his girlfriend, Michelle. Tina Turner is going to be honored for uh, with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammys. So, congrats, Miss Tina. You do deserve that. Uh, three um, three uh, young black youths. Um, hopefully, I don't butcher their names, but Mommy uh, uh, Benny. Shawnee Davis and Aaron Jackson are headed to the 2018 Winter Olympics for speed skating. So congrats to those three. And lastly, uh, Cardi B. One, she has tied. I'm sorry, she and Beyonce are the only women to have four um, songs in the um, top ten on the hot R&B and hip-hop charts at the same exact time. And also, shout out to Cardi B because she will be performing at the Grammys with Bruno Mars. So, y'all, that's everything here. There, there was some other stuff that went on this week, but I just did not feel like talking about it. Please don't forget <clears throat> that, you know, to keep the conversation going down there in the uh, comment section, please, please, please be respectful of everyone, you know, down there. Like I said, you can attack me. I'm cool with that, but please don't attack each other. It's not that serious. If there are any topics that you would like for me to cover in this segment, please email to me at spillingallthetea at gmail.com. So that is all that I have. Like I said, I will try to get you guys a good video next week. It may or may not happen. If not, then early February is when you guys will get the next video. So <clears throat> that is all that I have. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.